Is with this constant rain we keep seeing, yeah. the flooding is just a reality. Is it going to just continue? Well, we have this current uh, concern for the advisory going through Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. So as Sunday tonight and into Monday, more rain is in the forecast. It's not letting up. Um, we're not going to see a tapering off of rain chances until Wednesday going into Thursday. We're shifting to about a 30% probability. Until then, folks, Keep in mind, and if you live any near, anywhere near the St. John's River, you likely want to begin thinking about how you will protect your property from any potential minor flooding. Let's take a look right now at the current conditions. Look at the view, it's dreary. We have not had the sunshine we typically get for the Sunshine State. Temperatures are in the upper 70s, low 80s at this point. <clears throat> Temperature just dropped in St. Augustine. Look at these winds though by Mayport. These gusty winds coming from the north northeast. That is due to the non-tropical system that is developing near the Carolinas that will likely have impact on them and it's also having an indirect impact on us. As you can see, these are all of the concerns for the coastal flood advisory. It goes all the way from Glenware County in Georgia all the way down into Flagler County. You see this here? All the way out to Palaka. And the one thing in common for Northeast Florida is that it's all near the St. John's River. So that is a concern. I want you to take a moment, look at these rain gauges. Some of them are saying action, um, others are saying minor. The yellow and the orange are the greatest concern as well as the red for moderate flooding possibilities. Now, the reason this is important is because once you get to action, you may likely need to take action if you live in any of these areas in preparing to protect your property. And that is what that stands for as far as that code in the yellow. So the fact that we're going to have rain for yet another two days, folks, please keep this in mind. Even if it's light to moderate rain, it still can have an impact. We have some more rain moving through right now in our our area. Take a look. Just move through Orange Park, Middleburg, Nocatee, uh, South Ponte Vedra Beach, down into St. Augustine. Though it is isolated, there are some moderate downpours within them. And this is still within the same scope of the area where we've had the concern. So unfortunately, this is what we are dealing with. But again, as you look in the same area where we're getting some of the rain and also in our southern counties, this is where we have that concern. So Keep this in mind going into uh, Monday and Tuesday. Keep the umbrella in the car. We're still going to have the cloud coverage moving through the area for the evening. Temperatures are in the upper 70s, low 80s for us right now. Feel slightly warmer than that. But we're also going to start off with a very breezy, windy week. Take a look along the coast. 18 miles per hour for Brunswick, 25 for Mayport, and it's 10 miles per hour for Orange Park and Palaka Lake City, as well as Gainesville. Now let's look ahead. This is what we're going to be dealing with. Still getting these winds coming from the north, northeast by way of this low pressure system that's going to have an impact on the Carolinas very soon with the storm. Monday morning, you're going to have cloud coverage, not necessarily the rain, but do keep in mind going into Monday evening, rain chances will come back again, specifically for our southern counties, Alachua, Putnam, Flagler, and St. John's. This is for you. The rest of our counties will not be dealing with this much rain Monday going into Tuesday. So keep the umbrella in the car, especially if you're in those southern counties. Now here we see again, look at this gusty winds we'll be dealing with tonight going into tomorrow. And again, it's all happening because of that low pressure system that is off of the Atlantic that's bringing an impact of those winds coming from the north and northeast. As far as rain accumulation, we also have a concern there, which is why we have the advisory. The areas that you see in the green is where we've seen some rain. But then also as we go into the yellow, that's an area where we might have a couple of heavy downpours as well. Remember, there's also a rip current risk. Likely people aren't going to the beach because of the rain. Tropical depression, Gordon likely will not be a threat for us. But as you see, it will go down to a tropical depression and stay that way. This is the concern. Post-tropical cyclone number eight making its way along the Carolina coast by Monday afternoon. We'll continue tracking that for you. Tonight we'll be in the low 70s, upper 60s tomorrow in the mid to upper 